what used to be available only to people who could afford an airline ticket and a rental car and a hotel room and the time away from their families to travel, now we're getting used to the idea that anyone can do it from their study, their, their living room. And that can, offers many opportunities for interaction that uh, we did not take advantage of until recently. We, uh, as I mentioned, because pandemics are an inherently global problem, in the long run, we're going to have to recognize that it's a way in which every country is connected to every other country. The uh, Delta variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus started, may have started in one country, it may have gone out of control. Another country would think, oh, that's, that's happening in, in India, that's happening in Brazil, that's happening in England, we don't have to worry about it. We do have to worry about it. Uh, it's a reminder of how connected we are, together with the other items on the list that I mentioned, such as climate and terrorism and tax havens and uh, trade. Uh, so the reconnection, the, the, the fact that the world is interconnected is something that the pandemic really reminded us of. Mm -hmm.